Greetings, my name is Kerry and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about some things that I've loved, non-bookish things I've loved in November. So this is the second month of doing this type of video and I'm hoping you like the format and yeah, let me know what you think. But a little channel update before I get into that. I'm very excited to have reached 100 subscribers yesterday. So there has been a bit of fluctuation. <laughs> I noticed this morning I'd gone up to just past 100 and then I'd gone back down to 100. So maybe at time of filming this, it won't be 100 anymore. But who knows? That's the fun of YouTube. So, but I just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone that has subscribed so far that's got me to this point. I've been making these videos for just coming up for six months and it means so well to me that people actually want to listen to what I have to say and are willing to put up with my bad lighting and bad editing and all the things that I should be learning to do better. Thank you so much. My goal was to hit 100 by the end of the year so to have got to that point with still a month to go just means a lot to me and so I'm thinking about what my goal, my next sort of goal is. I'll be making a sort of a New Year's resolution slash channel goals video um, in the, at the start of 2019 and so sort of think about what milestones I want to hit when and so I'll let you know about that um, and sort of what plans I have for different milestones but for now just thank you <laughs> thank you so much yeah it really means a lot to me and just before I go on to the things I love just to do a little plug again for my Christmas readathon which is coming up this month so I'll link down to the announcement video below. Um, I'm really excited. I've had a few people sign up on the Twitter account which is at Christmas Reads and so I'm just really keen to have lots of people get involved and just feel Christmassy and read books together. Yeah so please consider joining in that. Right so now <laughs> without further ado on to the five things I've loved in November. There are two events two TV shows and one great cause that I hope you'll join with me in supporting. So let's start with the events. So the first event actually technically was in October but it was the last day of October so I couldn't talk about it in October but also it spilled over into November because it was a concert and I bought a CD and that was in my car for like <laughs> the next two weeks. So the concert was by an a cappella group called the Sons of Pictures. I'll link their channel down below. They are awesome. They're a six piece male, all male group from the Midlands. They do a mixture of covers and original material, which is really cool because I don't know that a lot, lot of a cappella groups do original material and their original stuff is amazing. I mean, their covers are amazing too. So the show that they did was 100 number ones. So all the songs were ones that had reached number one in the UK charts and it was filled with their great, <laughs> their great sense of comedy as well. They also do improvised songs where they get suggestions from the audience of things that they should sing about, which is always very entertaining and they pick different styles to do. So they did a song based on a text that someone had received in the style of Elvis and Alvin and the Chipmunks. And we were crying with laughter. It was so funny. Yeah, they're just, I mean, they're just such fun and so talented. And I bought their latest album, which is uh, Covers Volume 2. So this has got some great songs that they've done over the years. Got a couple of my favourites on there. So one that they'd done in a, on a previous tour, which is a cover of Brothers in Arms by Dire Straits, which is one of my all-time favourite songs, and their version of it just still gives me chills every time I hear it. So go check them out on their YouTube channel. You can find them on iTunes or on Amazon, and they also have a Patreon as well, which is a great way to support them. So that is the Sons of Pictures, and if you get a chance to see them live, they are amazing. So the second event I went to was at the theatre. So it was an evening with Gordon Buchanan, who is a wildlife documentary maker. And he's done various documentaries over the years, particularly following sort of family groups of animals. So his first one was with bears um, in North America. He's also followed polar bears, gorillas. And my favorite one was the elephants. Um, and so he was just sharing stories and clips um, from his experiences 
Uh, I went with my friend Lucy and we got to meet him afterwards. He's such a pleasant chap. He's got a couple of documentaries coming out over the Christmas period on the BBC, so keep an eye out for them. And I did have a look because I'd heard that some of his documentaries were on Netflix. I couldn't find them, but they're definitely worth checking out if you can find them on any other sort of streaming service or I think they're probably repeated on BBC from some time from time to time. What I like about his videos is compared to the ones like the David Attenborough ones, so the David Attenborough ones are brilliant, don't get me wrong, but Gordon Buchanan actually sort of co comes really into close contact. So you will, he'll have a camera on himself as well while he's filming the animals and you can see how close he gets actually to them sometimes and it's just really, really powerful. And he also does include some of the sort of con conservation stuff which is really important in this day and age where we're, we're essentially wrecking the planet and we need to stop doing it. We need to look after the wildlife that we have and so that's something that he really does highlight in his videos. So that was really cool. So then there were two TV shows that I've discovered this month that have really helped me get some enjoyment back in my life. If you watched my November wrap up you'll have seen that I was in a bit of a reading slump in November, had quite a stressful situation at work and these two shows for very different reasons really helped, just really helped me to find some peace and enjoyment in my life. So the first one um, is one on Netflix and it's Gilmore Girls and I know I'm really late to the party with this but oh my goodness do I love this show. It's just like wrapping yourself in a warm blanket. It's very soothing program and only about part way, about halfway through the first season at the moment but I'm just really loving it. I love the characters and their interactions. Particularly love the way the exploration of the relationship between um, Lorelai and her parents and how that's affected by Rory getting to know her grandparents and I just uh, just really love these characters and it's just such a comforting show to watch so that's one thing that's really been helping me to calm down <laughs> um, and relax and yeah just make life feel a bit better in in the last month. And at the other end of the spectrum, the other show that has really <laughs> cheered me up this month is a show called Taskmaster, which is on a channel called Dave in the UK. So this is a very silly programme. It's hosted by Greg Davies, who is a comedian, and his assistant Alex Horn. And they set very strange challenges for a group of comedians to carry out with very interesting results. So... Um, my favourite one, I think, or one of my favourite challenges they had to do was play mini golf with eggs and the winner of the challenge was whoever got around the course breaking the least number of eggs, which was very funny. <laughs> and they do all sorts of other things. It's just so silly and so funny and the reactions of the comedians to the different things they're asked to do are just... Oh, it's just so funny. <laughs> so... Yeah, if you if you get a chance to watch that, do. It's hilarious. It really cracks me up. It makes me wish I was still doing youth camps in the summer that I could do some of these ideas for. Yeah, so that's that's my four four things so far. So two events that I went to, two shows that I've discovered that I love, and then the last thing I want to talk about is one great cause that has been brought back to mind for me recently and it's something that I've decided to take part in this December. So um, a few years ago I heard about an initiative called Dress Amber, which is a fundraising challenge to help raise awareness of modern slavery and to raise money for anti-trafficking, anti-slavery charities. So I took part in Dress Amber in 2014 and it was fun but difficult and I've been thinking about doing it the last couple of years and sort of never quite got around to it and then this year I don't know why I just sort of have been more aware of their posts on Facebook and on Twitter and coming into my newsfeed and I just thought you know what this is a problem that is not going away and it's something that we need to raise more awareness of so I've decided to take part in Dress Ember this year so basically the idea is I will be wearing dresses every day in December 
and people can sponsor me to do this I uh, will link my fundraising pages down below so I have two fundraising pages you can either donate through the Dress Ember website and they list all their so they partner with several anti-slavery charities which is all listed on their website and so the money is split between those different causes so and then anything you donate through that way will be included in the grand total that they produce but that's an American they're an American charity it's an American website so for my UK friends and supporters and subscribers and all that I've also set up a virgin virgin money giving page <laughs> and which is actually I've just refreshed the the fundraising page I used a few years ago which is why there's already donations showing on there so this I've done this so that UK people can gift aid their donations if they donate through that the money will go straight to IJM UK, International Justice Mission UK, who are a great anti-slavery charity that I regularly support myself and the work that they do is amazing. So if you're a UK taxpayer and you want to be able to gift aid your donation, then I would say donate through Virgin Money Giving. Anyone else that wants to donate, I would suggest do it through the Dress Amber page so that it's included in their in their totals so that they get a better idea of how much money has been raised through Dress Umber. Yeah, so for Dress Umber, I will be wearing dresses every day, which means no jeans for a whole month, which is why the challenge is hard. It doesn't sound like it's hard, but it is hard because I'm not allowed to wear jeans and it's really difficult. So I have a I have a few dresses. I might try and go charity shopping and pick up a couple more. I do actually own more dresses now than I did when I did it in 2014 so it should be easier but I will find I expect that I get very bored with wearing the same outfit, the same sort of combinations of outf outfits and so I'm going to try and accessorise. I will be tweeting a picture every day of what I'm wearing so if you've seen those pictures before you watch this because I don't know when I'm posting this then that's, this is the context and um, I really hope you'll consider supporting these great charities um, and just finding out a bit more about modern slavery and the effects it has on people. So that's all I've got to talk about today. So thank you so much for watching. Um, please let me know what you think of the things that I've talked about. If you are fans of any of these things, I'd love to talk to you about them. So yeah, let me do know down in the comments what you think. And um, please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't because it just means a lot to me that people want to hear what I have to say and that way you'll be able to see every time I post a video and you can also click the bell to be notified whenever I post as well which is cool and you can follow me on social media all that will be listed down in the description so do go and check that out and yeah thank you so much for watching that's all I have for you today and so I will talk to you again soon bye